Sir, hail and well met. Welcome to you and every good man. To where is your destination? To where are you going? I am just journeying through this forest to collect for my lord. Are you then a bailiff? Indeed. Uh, by God, dear brother, you are a bailiff and I am one too. I am not known in this country. We should become more acquainted, and if you wish, to swear brotherhood as well. Everything I have will be yours. We shall be like brothers. Thank you. That sounds great. Let's travel on. Truly, brother, where is your home in case someday I may journey to visit your house? It is far in the north country, where I someday hope to see you. Before we part, I will give you directions, so you will be sure not to miss it. Now, as a bailiff, the same as I, I beg you to teach me some cunning on the tricks of the trade. Tell me how I can profit most from my job. To tell you the truth, my income is very meager. My lord is overbearing, and my work is very hard. I get what I spend through extortion. I just take whatever I can, through cunning or through force. I'll give whatever men will take me. That is the truth. Hmm. Actually, I do the same thing. I only refrain from taking what is too heavy or too hot. My conscience does not trouble me by anything I get from secret dealings. Were it not for my extortions, I could not live. Truly, you and I are well met. Yes. But, but true me, where, what is your name, dear brother? You want to know my name? Truly, I am a fiend. My dwelling is in hell. I ride the earth to find what men I can take. Truly, you and I ride abroad for the same reason, to see what we can get, no matter how. Observe now as I ride forward, looking for my next victim. Let us Ah, uh, bless me, what did you say? I thought you were a human, truly. You have the same form as I do. Do you have a specified form in hell, or are you an unusual shape? Certainly not. We have no form in hell. Here, I can assume whatever form I like. I can make myself appear as a man, ape, even angel. It's no miracle that this is so. If even a lousy magician can deceive you, then how much more can I? Why is it then that you ride or walk in various shapes, and not always in one? We assume whatever form allows us to easily take our victim. But tell me truly, brother, do you always make your new bodies out of the elements? No, sometimes we disassemble, sometimes our, f our form is unclear. But now I speak to you truly, I do not joke. You're so inquisitive to learn about this, but soon you will know of your own experience. You'll be able to give sermons and lessons on it, you'll know so much. Now, let's go on until you forsake me. No, that shall never happen. I am a human, widely known. I will keep my promise in this matter. For though you are the devil's Satan, I will keep my promise to you as my brother, as I swore I would do. So we shall proceed together onward. You take what people give you, and I will take mine. We shall be equal and even. I agree. Let us continue. This broken down car, the dealer promised me I wouldn't get a lemon. The devil take him and the car. Look over there, see that man in his cart? We shall have some fun now. Did you not hear what he just said? Take the cart at once, or he has freely given it to you. No, not a bit of it. God knows. That was not the man's intentions. If you do not trust me, wait a little and find out. Are you... Oh, it started. Thank God. See, what did I tell you? This man said one thing, but thought something else. I get nothing here. Let's continue on our journey. Brother, an old woman lives here who had almost as soon lose her neck as to give away a penny of her money. I will have twelve pence from her, even if she goes crazy, or else I will summon her to the court. And yet, God knows, I know no wrong of her. But since you are unable to make your expenses in this country, watch how I do this. Okay. I'm going to be off. Bye. You old hag, I believe you must have some friar or priest in there with you. Who knocks there? Bless me. God save you, sir. What is your honorable design? I have here a writ of summons, under threat of excommunication. See that you come before the archdeacon tomorrow to answer for certain things to the court. Now, may Lord Jesus Christ, King of Kings, kindly help me, for I am helpless. I have been sick many a day. I cannot walk or ride that far without dying from pain in my side. May I not request a copy of the charges, sir? Summoner, and answer there through my agent of those things for which I am accused? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pay me, hmm, let's see, twelve pence at once, and I shall acquit you. I shall have very little profit from it. My master makes all the profit, you see, not I. Come on, let me go quickly. Give me the twelve pence, I cannot wait any longer. Twelve pence? Now, Lady St. Mary, kindly help me out of this current sin. If I were to won this win, wide world, I wouldn't have twelve pence in my house. You know very well that I am poor. Sh 
So you're charity me, a poor witch! No, may the foul fiend take me if I excuse you, though you be destroyed. Alas, God knows I am not guilty. Pay me, or by the sweet Saint Anne, I will take away your new pot for the debt you have owed me for a long time. When you made your husband a cuckold, I paid the court for your fine. You lie! By my salvation! I was never before summoned to your court in all my life, wife nor widow, and I was never guilty of bodily sin. I sent your body and my pot back to the black, rough devil. Now, Mabel, is it, my dear mother, is this truly your desire? The devil take him before he dies, pot and all, unless he repent. No, old hag, this is not my intention to repent for anything that I've had from you. I wish I had your smock and every bit of your clothing. Now, dear brother, don't be angry. You heard her. Now you'll know more of our secrets than any master of divinity. You'll come to How hell with me I tonight. Not know? What?